Less time cleaning equals more time to do other things. Today I'm sharing my daily habits to keeping our home clean and tidy, and I'm also sharing some pretty genius cleaning products and tools that will make your day-to-day -day cleanups quicker and easier. This video is sponsored by ShopTagger, and it's my go-to when I shop Prime Pantry on Amazon. ShopTagger is a free app and website that will notify you when something you've been wanting and it goes on sale. Just download the ShopTagger app by clicking on the Get button and install it into your computer. For our bulk of your household items, I shop Prime Pantry on Amazon.com. Their prices are low and they have amazing deals and coupons. Our main staples that we use often like the Nelly's Laundry Soap, but I always like to save more by saving it in my Shop Tagger cart by clicking the blue button in the upper right corner. You can get notifications via email or mobile push notification when an item you've saved goes on sale or comes back in stock. laundry soda, toilet paper, bottled water are my staples that we use a lot. So shopping online and having these bulky items delivered to your door is priceless. You can also organize your items into categories called my list. I created a list to keep me organized and I can refer back to my list when I need to. So shop smarter and not harder and save even more by using the coupons that are also provided. Give ShopTagger a try you guys, I highly recommend them. You can check the ShopTagger link down below. My rule of thumb for keeping bed sheets in our household are two sets for each bed. There are benefits to sticking to this rule. Less clutter in your linen closet and having sets keep your linen looking fresher, along with washing your bed sheets weekly. I always wash my whites together and I love using Nelly's laundry soap. This is my absolute staple for our laundry room. This is what I use you guys to keep my whites bright. There's no harsh chemicals, there's no cleaners, and it's amazing on sensitive skin. I know you guys hear me preach about this all the time, but before leaving our bedroom in the morning, I always, always make our bed, no matter what day of the week it is. I always feel great knowing at least one room is pulled together. It's something to look forward to when it's time for bed. So if you're not the type to make your bed in the morning, get out of your comfort zone and give it a try at least for one week. You'll see the difference. You owe it to yourself. Some of you already know that I changed out our kitchen island countertops for a new quartz countertop, and I saved a ton of money by purchasing what is called a remnant. My piece was a leftover from another kitchen they did, and they sold me this piece. I chose Idris or Idris. It's a reversed, sharply slanted miter edge that gives this profile a dramatic look, and I truly appreciate the craftsmanship that they put into my island. A few weeks later, they installed it, and the owner was so sweet she came with her help to make sure everything went smooth, and I will provide a link to her shop in my description box. If you guys live in the Jacksonville area, this is where you need to go. My Lazy Susan is real marble and it looks just like quartz. Quartz is non-porous so I don't have to worry about the maintenance of sealing it like my granite. And having two-tone countertops, I absolutely love it. And speaking of my granite, I want to share how I keep it looking so clean and shiny. For years, I've been using this granite and marble polish sealer and cleaner on our countertops, but I believe they changed the name to something else, I'm not sure. But the first thing I do is I take a dishcloth with warm water and I wipe down the counters and then I would use this cleaner uh, to really get into the granite and then I would give it a quick polish and use this mainly around the sink area, not on all the surfaces because it's a lot to cover and twice a year I will seal it and the Hubster usually helps me with that. But be sure to follow uh, any directions that's on your packaging before using it. Ceramic Bright is my go-to cleaner to clean up splatters and spills to keep my cooktop looking shiny. If you have really tough spills that's burnt on, use the scraper that comes with the kit. This one has seen better days, so I purchased another one. After the cooktop is cool, use the scraper to get off any burnt on foods, but this is the way that I like to do it by putting the cream on and then using the yellow scrubber pad that comes with the kit. Then rub the cream on the burnt parts and let it dry. Then I use this scraper to scrape off the chalky residue and buff and shine. I'll leave a link to Ceramic Bright down below.
before putting everything back, I gave my tea kettle and utensil holder a good wash down and I ran vinegar through my coffee pot. And the bathrooms, especially the guest bath. You never know who's going to need it or use it. Every day I'll grab some Lysol wipes and I'll start wiping down the counters, the doorknob and the switch plates and I'll hit the toilets. It only takes a few minutes out of your time and it really helps to keep the germs down. One of my pet peeves are dirty walls, especially in the entryways of any room you go into. Magic erasers are so wonderful for tackling almost anything. It has a minor abrasive that can remove dirt, scuff marks, and even that crayon masterpiece your kids put on the wall. But if the eraser can't get the job done, you may have to touch it up with a little paint. So here's a tip. Take your paint swatch color and tape it to the back of the switch plate. This way you will always have that color if you need more. Clean your dishwasher. I'm certainly guilty for not cleaning our dishwasher, but if your dishwasher hasn't been cleaned in a while, try using this finished dishwasher cleaner. It's so fabulous. It can clean things we cannot see to the human eye. I'm really picky when it comes to the cleanliness of my dishes, and when I start to see food that's left on our dishes, I know it's time to use the finished dishwasher cleaner that you can get right from your grocery store. You only have to use one bottle a month. It's just remove the tab and place it in your dishwasher. It gets rid of all that grease and lime scale out of your dish washer so your dishes come out really clean. Before I start cooking I will fill my sink up with soapy warm water and another good habit to get into is clean as you cook. It will transform the way you cook. As you use specific dishes for prepping like your, your cutting board, your knives, wash them right after you're finished using them and keep a scrap bowl close to you when you're prepping. This way you can empty the bowl into the trash when you're almost done cooking. I'm a firm believer of every item you own should have a place and that's truly the key to keeping your home tidy and organized. I really believe that it starts when your kids are young. If you start them young, they'll grow up to be really organized adults. And taking the time to put things back where they belong, it will not only become a habit, but it will also save you time in the long run. So I hope you guys can implement some of these tips into your own home and I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you.